Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you how to connect from your Java program to SQL Server. So firstly in main, I have a string declared for my connection string. And the first part, jdbc colon sql server colon two forward slashes. That refers to the driver, which is software that you need so that your program knows how to talk to Microsoft SQL Server. That needs to be downloaded, downloaded and added into your project. I'm going to show you how to do that. I haven't done it yet because I want to show you the exception that you will get if you don't add in that driver. The second part is the name of your SQL Server. So I'm just going to flick across to my SQL Server to show you where to get that name from. So you can see up at the top here, there's a name, and mine is FTC Laptop uh, slash 13. Or you can, you can right click on that and go to Properties. And under General, you'll see at the very top there, the name. So it's that name there that I have copied and pasted to make sure that I don't um, insert any errors. Okay, so that's the second part. The third part here that you need, database equals learners. That is a database that I have created in SQL Server. It's an empty database. I right clicked on databases, insert new database. Um, I typed in learners and click, clicked OK. Do not click the add button because it's asking you to put in another file associated with the database. So I've that done already. There's no database in that. I'll show you in one of the, the next videos what to do for that. The last part is integrated security, integrated security equals true. That allows you to log on to SQL Server with the same credentials, as in the same username and password that you logged on to your machine. Now, I have a try catch block and in there I have a try with resources statement. Inside the try with resources statement, I'm declaring an SQL connection. So when you're typing in connection, make sure and do control space and you need the connection from the SQL package. There will be a few of them, so make sure it's the one from the java.sql package. Equals to driver manager .get connection. So driver manager is a, a class in the API that allows you to pass in the connection string into that get connection method. And if there's any problems, it will throw an exception. It will go down to the catch block and it'll print out the, the my error message and give more information about what went wrong. If everything goes okay, you will get this printout that I've put in here, connection established. I can tell you that this never works for me first time. So in this tutorial, I've fixed any issues that I had. And in the next one, I'll show you what issues that I did get and how I fix those. So firstly, the driver. The driver needs to be downloaded from Microsoft's website. And I will pop that link into um, the details underneath this. So if there's a download link there, download that. Um, it's a zip file. You will need to unzip it. Okay, I have done that already and I, I've left it in the downloads folder. And when you go in there, you will see in there that there are three jar files. The one that I'm going to uh, link up to my program or add to my program is going to be the last one there because it's for the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment 14, which is what I'm currently working on. So back into Eclipse. In the Package Explorer, on my project, I'm going to go to the build path there. Before I do that, I'm going to run my program. Because what will happen is, it will attempt to get a connection with my connection string. I have not included the driver yet in Eclipse. I have it on my machine. So I will get, it'll go down to the catch. I get error connect, connecting, that should be to the database. Error connecting to the database. And it says no suitable driver found. So I've downloaded that already. Then go to all code, right click, go to build path and configure build path. In there, click on the libraries tab. So if you've the most recent version of Eclipse, like I do, there might be a module path here. You'll need to click on class path before you will get access to that button at external jar. If you've a previous version of Eclipse, you won't need to click on class path. You'll just be able to click on add external jar. When you click on that button, make sure that you browse the location where you've downloaded and unzipped the driver from Microsoft's website and click on there, the one for the Java Runtime Environment 14 and click on open and click apply and close. Then you will see that in the Package Explorer underneath reference libraries. 
And now when I run my program, sorry, I wasn't clicking on my program there. Run that again. Connection established. Okay. So that has used my connection string. First part for the driver. That's the name of my SQL server. That's the name of the database I want to connect to. I don't actually think it's gone that far yet because I, I, I'm not using that database. And that's what type of security or what type of login that it's using. Okay, I had all sorts of trouble doing that, so look at my next tutorial to see what problems I had and how to resolve them.